Hello everyone, this is my analysis for the Grand National which takes place on Saturday. I'm going to walk you through some of the steps. I have built a spreadsheet, but it didn't prove too useful. But I'm going to apply what I learned building the spreadsheet. The first thing is, the stats say that coming into this race on the back of a non-completion, in particular pulled up, is extremely negative. So I'm going to go right ahead now uh, and take out the ones who failed to complete last time. After doing that, there's quite a few who have been taken out of the race. I also am not interested in anything younger than eight years old. And there's this mare here by Daisyl, seven-year-old mare. I'm going to get rid of her immediately. I think she's the only seven-year-old in the race. I'm also going to get rid of the 13-year-old Maggio. I'm really not interested in the 12-year-olds either, but the 13-year-old can definitely go. Now, this race, you need to be prepared and conditioned for this race. Those horses that have only had one or two runs in the last 12 months really are not going to be in the sort of condition that you need to win this race. So there are a couple in here, like Tenor Nivernay, and a couple of others, uh, let's find them, see you at midnight, that have just not been prepared, Pendra, for what you're going to re require to do. So I'm going to knock them out right now. What I want to remind you is that the process that we're going through is that the Grand National is a race that requires a very specific type of horse and preparation. And some of that preparation can take place over two or three years of a horse's life and what we're looking for is to find those horses which have both got the ability the class the stamina the jumping uh, ability as well and have been prepared and are arriving and are on a reasonable handicap mark from which they can be expected to be competitive don't forget as i say every year this is a high quality Handicap chase. So handicapping is a major factor in this race. Okay, so that's one of the things we want to be taking into account. The next thing I took into account that I really pay attention to is the number of chase starts that you've had and combined with total career starts. Um, you need at least 18 career starts in your life, but you want no more than about 16 of those to be in a chase. So those horses that once they've started having 22 and you know that that kind of number of chases, uh, the, they don't fit the profile. So I went through these and I found a series of them that are over raced really for the profile that I'm looking for. And they included Perfect Candidate and Shantu Flyer and Gasline Boy and Beeves and Razda Marie and Bywise and Oublon des Obeaux. All had too many runs. Double Ross as well. So we're getting, getting the field down now to a manageable number. Now the next thing is, you've got to have the class to win a race of this nature. And that means I want to see that you won a chase in at least class two. Okay, and there are horses in here that have not won in a class two chase or higher, and I'll go ahead and get rid of those now. There was another filter I decided to apply, which is um, to make it a requirement to a 1A chase at three miles, one and a half furlongs or further, to have one at that distance. That is a bare minimum. And so there were some in here that have not done that. And I'll go ahead and knock those out. We're using these two narrow the field down we've still got quite a large number left to consider and i'll go ahead and do that work now 
So after doing all of that work, uh, I've got the field down to these five. So let's have a look at them. Black Line, of course, ran in the National last year and finished fourth off a mark of 152 and now reappears off 161. He couldn't win the race last year off £9 lower. It's asking a hell of a lot for me, you know, for the horse to... He's got to improve more than £9. You know, he... And you're only getting 10 to 1 or whatever price he is. It, it, it makes it look difficult. It, they could have campaigned him to preserve the mark. If we have a quick look at his what they've done this season with him. If the objective was to win the Grand National and nothing else, they could have run him in races that he didn't like. But as it is, he went and ran second at Weatherby in the Charlie Hall chase. Let's have a look at this. He ran second in the Charlie Hall, Hall chase, getting six pounds and gets beaten. Bristol to May is rated uh, what, what have we got for Bristol to May now? Because he subsequently bolted up in the uh, Betfair chase, of course, on heavy going. And here he is. He's a rated 165. Yeah, he gave six pounds to Black Lion and beat him. Which to me makes the 161 look very difficult for Black Lion. He's had wind surgery, apparently. He then ran in the Haydock National Trial over three and a half miles off 161 and got beaten out of sight. He did win the Beecher Chase off 153, but of course he's got put up eight pounds for the pleasure. Having run off 152 and finished fourth last year, they could have run him in a hurdles race and then run him in a race that he didn't like. Uh, on a track he didn't like and tried to get a couple of pounds off his back but for me if black lion goes and wins well fair play but i can't bet him at 10 to 1 so i'm going to knock him out here we go with uh, the last samurai and the last samurai unless the ground dries out i'm pretty much convinced that he, he he doesn't want soft ground. He may not have been trying too hard. But he has had... Let's get his runs up. He's had two goes in the Grand National. And finished second two years ago. Off 149. Then he ran last year and ran 16th off 161. He's two, two pound lower than last year. He's got to run off 159. It's asking a lot for me. You know, that was his best run there over the National Fence. He was in the beach chase off 159. And uh, he was well beaten. He has got a pull with uh, Vieux Leon Rouge a little bit, I believe. But uh, whether he can reverse the form. The early on Rouge is getting £9 from him and he was getting a bit more in the Beecher Chase. So it looks a stiff old task for me, the last Samurai. He's had two cracks at it and hasn't been able to do it. So, And you're only getting 16 to 1 or whatever. You might get better than that. So I'm going to knock him out. Now Tiger Roll course won the cross country what I don't like about him was he was still competing in novices races last season and that is usually a negative that has been 
overturned once in about the last 30 years. Second season chaser. Most national winners are third, fourth, or even fifth season chasers. So, uh, although he's absolutely hacked up in the cross country, he's never been to Aintree. Not that that is a problem. He's never been to the to the national fences at Aintree. He's never been over those. They have had uh, winners that have not experienced the national fences before. And many clouds had never run over the national fences before. And uh, neither had ruled the world. He was the one who was a novice the year before. Anyway, and technically Pino de Rey was a novice the year before, but he was 11 years old, so he was a mature horse. Anyway, Tiger Roll, uh, you know, if you fancy him, I mean, he was when he ran in the Irish National last spring, he, he was pulled up off 151. He's got to run off 150 in a handicap here. Uh, it looks a stiff mark to me. You could have a saver. You could have, you know, whatever bets you're going to have. You could have a saver. Vieux Leon Rouge is now a nine-year-old. He's running off 10 stone 12. He has also had two goes in the Grand National. Uh... He had a go in 2017, he was sixth, and that was a hot race. And he's a pound higher than that. He also had a go as a seven-year-old, and he was seventh off 146. He may prefer better ground than what he's going to face on Saturday, but um, I definitely consider him a major player. And he did win a very hot, uh, Haydock National Trial in February 2017 where he beat Black Lion getting just six pounds and he pulled 18 lengths clear from Vintage Clouds and he destroyed Gasline Boy that form worked out very well he just didn't run as well as that in the Grand National that form there if he could reproduce this form uh, Vieux on Rouge he'd be a major major player there he was getting six pounds off of Black Lion and beat him comfortably three and a half lengths. And now he's going to be getting eleven pounds. So he's five pounds better off with Vieux Leon Rouge for that run. Although, of course, he did run behind Black Lion in the Beecher Chase here. And he was beating a long, long, long way. But he's got plenty of experience with the fences. He's reasonably handicapped. He's got a decent rating, racing weight. He's got the right amount of experience. At 33 to 1, I'm going to be having a little bit on Vieux Leon Rouge. He's clearly been campaigning for the race this year. No, nothing and no other race. And I've got to give him a run. And the other one I'm going to give a run to, let will just get rid of that, is Milan's Bar. It's going to be ridden by Bryony Frost. It would be a tremendous story if she was the first female to win the Grand National. There is literally no reason why she can't win the race, just because she's a female jockey. She's won on this horse before. He, won, he ran exceptionally well for her when he bolted up in the uh, classic chase at Warwick. And they did put the blinkers on first time that day, which is a negative. I really don't want horses that have had blinkers. But at 33 to 1, he can definitely run a big race. He's been second in a Midlands National. Uh, he's won a, the classic chase at Warwick. He's been in an Ida chase. He's definitely going to stay. He jumps well. He has been rated higher than this in the past. He was second in the in the Midlands National two years ago 
off of 145 and he's still only off 143 so those are my bets for the Grand National those that's my shortlist I'm going to be having you might be able to get five and six places for these two each way I would bet both of these each way I'm going to have more on Milan's bar and a little bit less on Vierly on Rouge, say three points each way, Milan's bar 33 to 1, a point each way, Vierly on Rouge 33 to 1 or better, if you get better, and then uh, a point each way on Tiger Roll, or you could do a point win in case he wins and to cover the stakes on the other two. So there we go, that's my analysis. What I'm expecting is for Milan's bar and uh, a couple of others to sit up the front. May well pay to be on the on the pace. I will mention a few other horses that I did look at. Um, one of them is down here. I've had him on my mind for a long time, but I finally decided I don't think he's got the class. And that's his horse here, Final Nudge. He also was racing as a novice last season, which is a negative. He's a nice horse, and he ran third in the Welsh National at Chepstow in January this year, third of 20. He's a very nice horse. He's on a decent mark. He's running off one four one four. Let me just check what he's running off. One four three, as I thought. Yes, if he was off one forty, I would give him a much better chance. But off one four three, it's a little bit stiff. And he's never won in a class two or better race. The best race he's ever won at is a class three. And that just put me off him. I also seriously considered Captain Redbeard. But there's a major doubt about him staying the trip. Let's have a look at him. He won a nice race at... Haydock, but that was over two miles seven. So he's got a, he, he's, he has won a class two, but the lot furthest distance he's won at is two miles seven. The other thing I was looking at is another factor that I use in the spreadsheet, which is horses which have either placed in one of the the nationals. That's the Grand National itself, a top four finish in a Grand National, Irish, Scottish, Welsh, or Midlands. Uh, either that or to have won at three miles three or further. Now, Milan's bar has done both of those. He's won at three miles five and been second in the Midlands National twice. Viole on Rouge has won at three miles four in the, in the Haydock National Trial and Tiger Roll won at three miles six in the cross country at Cheltenham. So those are the, those are the major reasons why I'm in favour of those horses. I did consider Valsalido. He's a very nice horse, classy. He's on a decent handicap mark, Valsalido. But he's never tried this kind of trip. He might love it. So there we go. My three bets for the Grand National on Saturday are Milan's Bar, three points each way, Vieux Leon Rouge, one point each way, and Tiger Roll, one point win. Thanks very much for listening, and I shall post some more content for the rest of the meeting as we go along.